So the next step is to start uh, customizing our homepage, adding our logo and so forth. So uh, let's go ahead and head on over to our flow theme area. We'll click on our styling options. And within this area, we are going to upload our logo to the website. So we'll just uh, scroll down and here we're able to add our uh, custom file icon and then we are able to upload our logo. Now there are several options. You can either have a text logo or an image logo. We'll select an image logo and you can click here to, sele to select a file from your computer, from your media library. Now I already have a file uh, in my computer and over here we have the uh, U plus We logo. I will just drag and drop into the following uploader and we'll go ahead and click on add this attachment. So you'll see that it's been added here. Uh, you can then also upload a mobile version of your logo um, that will be displayed on mobile devices. Over here uh, within these settings you're able to add the maximum logo width for desktop versions uh, and then also add the logo max width for uh, your mobile versions and then over here we're able to add the distance before and after our logo and if you click on this question mark it'll show you um, what exactly this is related to so let's go ahead and just click on update settings for now we'll go here refresh our page and here we have our logo and let's go ahead and make it slightly smaller so we'll have this at 200 pixels we'll click on update settings and we'll refresh this page once again. All right, and then you'll see that our logo is smaller now. All right, so next off, uh, we'll go ahead and add an image slider. So we'll go over to uh, Slideshow. And we'll click on Add New. We'll add our title, so this will be Homepage Slideshow. And here we're able to add slideshow images. We'll click on Add Slideshow Images. Once again, I'll select several images from my computer. I'll just drag and drop them into the, the upload area over here. And then we'll click on Add to Gallery. From here on, we're able to drag these images around into any preferred order. Um, if you click on this Edit button, you're able to add the image title, image description, a specific link uh, to the following image. You're able to um, set the positioning of your text and we have all of these options here. If you want to add a video uh, to the following image, you can go ahead and do that. And then you're able also to set the text color for the image. So I'll just uh, leave this blank for now. And then uh, we're also able to select our slideshow effect, whether it be fade or horizontal slide. So let's go ahead and click on publish. And in the meantime, we need to go back to our pages area. And uh, we'll go over to our home page. And we'll need to select an image slider that we want to associate with the following page. So we'll scroll down. And over here within the slideshow areas, select the slideshow we want to use. And here we're able to select the various view types. So we'll select this full screen option. We'll have our navigation menu at the bottom. And over here, we're able to select our logo positioning. So we'll have it uh, in the middle and center. All right, and then we'll um, hide our page title. And then we'll go click on update. Refresh our home page. Okay, so here we have our logo, as you'll see. If you scroll through the images, this is what it looks like. And then we have our navigation menu. Essentially, if we take a look at the demo version of our website, you'll see that we have our logo in the center. We'll see, we'll see that we have our navigation menu here, and then we'll also have these widget areas. Uh, so same thing we, we have within our website as well. We have our image slider. We then have our navigation menu, and at this point, we'll go ahead and add our widget areas and our social medias as well. So uh, within this area, let's go over to the flow theme area once again, and we'll click on social networks. I'll go ahead and close this image slider for now. And over here, we will add our social profiles. So let's go ahead and just um, add Facebook. And I'll go over here to Facebook 
Dot.com. Copy this link and add it over here. If you want to add a custom icon, you can always do so by just um, uploading a custom icon over here. Then you can also add a rollover icon image for your social media. If you do not add these, um, the system will just simply use the icons we have by default. So then click on add social profile. Okay, and uh, we'll go ahead and then add our Twitter. And I'll just use the Facebook link for now. Add social profile, and then we'll go ahead and add Instagram. All right, so now that we've added these main three profiles, we'll then need to go over to our widget areas. So go on to appearance, go over to widgets, And uh, what we'll do is, let me just give you a quick overview. Uh, we have this footer over here. It's broken down into three sections. This is footer one, footer two, and footer three. All right, so we'll have our footer third right over here. And we'll need to take our crowd social icons, drag and drop this here, and um, we'll just um, follow me here. Add that title. We'll click on save. All right, so let's go to our home page. We'll refresh this. Okay, so here we have follow me here, and then we have our social icons over here as well. And then we'll add three other areas to uh, to these widgets. So let's go ahead and uh, within footer first, uh, what we'll do is just simply add this text widget. We'll drag and drop it here. So we'll add our title, and uh, let's go ahead and just get this details from our demo website, investment in details. We'll click on save, just right over here, and uh, then we'll close this and expand footer second. Take this text widget once again, and we'll title this as about. This text, click on save once again, close this, and we'll go back to our home page. We'll refresh it. Okay, and here we have our title, investment in details, text information, and um, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go. So the home page is set up with our content, and uh, we've pretty much duplicated the, um, the settings we have for the demo version, as you see here. We have the image slider logo in the middle, our navigation menu, and then we have our social icons and additional information. So same thing we have here, um, though you can play around with, if you go over to pages, we do recommend that you go over to the home page and that you play around with some of the slider settings. Uh, choose the most suitable one for you, as we have several options over here. And this is the one we have for the demo version over here. And then you're able to select where you want to position the logo and so forth. So uh, these are some options that you can play around with. And um, let's go ahead and talk about our next um, settings that we have for demo version 2.